All right, so I am live on Cincy 2, and I just realized that this camera angle shows all my crap on the floor, so let me adjust this so it's less ugly. There we go! And then you see less of me too, but you do see the Popskis. Good old McDonald's Popskis and uh, Pebbles Popskis. Um, I'm not expecting many people on this live. I'm basically doing this so that I can get it done, get it done, ski, get it published on Cincy 2 because uh, I'm, I continue to see this stack of comic books every time I'm in my office here. So um, I was going to record a video, publish it, but I figured, hey, we got someone here, Alexander, uh, is it Babich? Is that how you pronounce your last name? Doomsday Clock sucks. No one should like Doomsday Clock. So there you go. There's the first comment of the, the live comic book haul here. Uh, but this is about, I would say, like two months worth of comic books here. But um, again, I'm not expecting many people, A, because there's only like, uh, I think, 500 and change subscribers on Cincy2. I'm not doing this on the main channel. I didn't do any kind of notification whatsoever for this. Uh, how's it going, Liz Sam Official? Who hates Doomsday Clock? Apparently, Alexander hates Doomsday Clock. Joe Rizzo, how's it going? So we do have a few people watching this. How is my audio, by the way, to the to the four peeps that are in here? How's my audio coming through? Um, this is mainly going to be, obviously this is for the audience that's here right now, but also I'm going to show you my comic books here. This is basically for replay value. Um, and then also, also, most importantly, I'm actually doing this live here uh, because I am testing something new out. I actually am not using Wi-Fi for this live. I actually uh, bought some components here and I hardwired into my modem um, or my my modem or router, whatever it is. I hardwired in. So I actually did a speed test. I'm doing like um, f almost 500 meg download. So I'm hoping it's less glitchy. Obviously the proof will be in the pudding. When I watch the replay, if I see some glitches, I'll know that, hey, it's uh, Spectrum and it wasn't my Wi-Fi. But hopefully uh, this works out for you guys. So I'm just going to go through this gigantic stack. I'm going to pick like four comics at random, show you the artwork inside. But let's get started. So I'm going to start with the image comics. And obviously, if you guys have any questions, please, by all means, uh, ask it in the chat. Very, very small audience today. Five people in here. But again... Uh, it's a small channel. It's a new channel. It's a growing channel, Cincy2. Um, and then obviously a lot of people that subscribe to the main content on the main channel don't really like comic books. They just like, you know, a lot of action figures and toys. So, And this channel is kind of a smorgasbord anyway. It's comic books. It's sports cards. It's jerseys. But anyway, let's get started. Enough babbling. Hope you guys are all doing great today. I'm a, a little hyper because I'm drinking this right now. But uh, we're going to start with some uh, crossover. This is Donny Cates crossover. i got to find where the camera is. There it is. Donny Cates crossover. <clears throat> this is probably a better location for it. Um, I have not started reading this. I actually just started picking this up. This is issue two. Donny Cates. He's uh, probably my favorite uh, writer right now. Him and Ewing. Cates and Ewing are my two favorite writers uh, in comics right now. Let me clear off some room here. So I could put these here. So... Crossover 2. This one right here, freaking dog. Crossover 3. I think Mrs. Cincy's home from her workout. She went to the gym. Uh, this is a variant cover. Um, they did multiple variants where the character there is reading a comic book, an old image comic book. And uh, this is the one where she's reading Spawn number one, and there's Spawn behind her too. So very, very freaking cool there. I paid a little bit more for this. It was 10 bucks. But uh, crossover three right there. Firepower. I've uh, bought a lot of the recent issues of this. Issue seven. This is a lot of people's um, favorite comic book right now. Uh, just watching some of the other YouTube comic book um, channels. A lot of people like Firepower. It's Robert Kirkman. If you're not aware of who Robert Kirkman is, he is the writer of Invincible. Uh, he's also the writer of The Walking Dead. So if you're a fan of his writing, Walking Dead, you might like this. A lot of people really, really like this. And there's Firepower issue 
eight right there. <clears throat> I should pick an image book to show you the artwork inside, but because uh, these are my last two image books here. So I want to show you Firepower. Why the heck not? Uh, Nailbiter Returns. This is a great, great horror slasher thriller comic book. Probably my favorite horror comic book. Uh, Joshua Williamson's the writer, Nailbiter Returns. The first series was called Nailbiter. You can catch up on that on uh, Trade. And then here is the most recent issue, number nine, Nailbiter Returns. I really, really like this series. Uh, great art, too. I like the art. But I'm going to show you the artwork inside Firepower. So this is the first one that I'll be showing you here. And this is issue eight. Hopefully, I don't give up any spoilers when I show you these because... Again, I'm not caught up on this comic book. I'm actually still reading the trade that precedes. So here's some of the artwork inside. <clears throat> I do like the artwork a lot. Great action scene right there. Look at that. Hopefully no spoilers again. Let me find a non-action scene. So there's a gigantic splash page of that guy's face there. Some talky scenes right there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Liz says audio is perfect. Joe says you're good. Justin Garcia says sound is good. Very cool. Um, let's see. Haunter Dreams. Yes, I've been reading King and Black. I have two. I have two. Here's some more artwork. Firepower. It's about a family, so there's a lot of, I guess, talky exposition type scenes, uh, storyline. There's a cool splash page. Look at that. You don't, you don't often see splash pages. Are they on a train or a plane? Looks like a plane based on the, uh, probably a plane. That's cool. And then I'll show you one more page in, oh, that's a spoiler. I can't show that. By the time I get to this issue, I will have forgotten about that spoiler. I'll show you this right here. One more action double page there. So I do like the artwork. It's it's different. The artist is uh, Chris Samney or Somney is the artist. There's the opening page there. So very very cool. Firepower. It's a martial arts type comic book. Bobby Makovsky's here. I feel like I'm like really really low in frame. So I will show you some of my clutter on the floor just to get me better in frame. <clears throat> so we're gonna get to. DC books next. I got a little stack of DC books and I'm going to choose, uh, let's choose two different comics in DC to show you the artwork in here. Uh, again, I hope everyone is doing well. Got 10 people in here. More than I thought. I thought I was going to be by myself, just talking to myself. So how's it going, everyone that's in here? This is a comic book haul. There will be no action figure discussion in this. This is Cincy 2. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. You will see comic book hauls on this page. If you're new to this channel and you've never seen Cincy Nerd, the primary channel, please consider subscribing to that as well. And you can see all of this stuff here, all that stuff, all of that, and then all that stuff. Big, uh, big action figure collector here. Anyway, Batman, issue 104. So I got that one right there. I love this cover. Clown Hunter in the background, Harley in the background. Uh, there is... Batman issue 104, and then we got Batman issue 105 with, uh, what's his name, Ghost? Ghost Maker? Is that his name? In the white outfit with the uh, helmet on, and then Clown Hunter, and then Batman. And it says, Gotham isn't big enough for the three of them. So there's Batman. And another Batman issue, we got Batman Annual. Uh, five. Let's see if I can show you the cover without so much glare. A lot of clown hunter. Are they going to make that dude like a Robin? He's a, he's like a vigilante kid. Swings around that baseball bat with the battering on it. Um, I kind of get a sense that he might become like a Robin in the future. Jay Lisa's Comics, Comics, Comics. Heck yeah, today's Wednesday. So today was new comic book day. I did not make it to my comic book store today. So uh, unfortunately, if you're tuning into this because you saw, hey, a live comic book haul, none of today's comic books that came out today are going to be in this haul. This is all from like the last couple months. Um, stuff that's been piling up. The Seastead Planet, this is the final issue of this comic. 
I really want to look at this one, but I am not caught up. I'm on issue five of this one. But I really, really like the deceased comic uh, lines, I guess. This is the third one that they've done. Tom Taylor, excellent, excellent writer for DC. Tom Taylor, DC Dead Planet, the final issue in this uh, storyline. So I'm looking forward to reading that and catching up on that. Got a bunch of death metal books here. I know death metal's already done because they've moved on to Future State. But I'm going to show you death metal number six I got here. Awesome cover. Very, very awesome cover there. And we got Death Metal 7. Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman. Death Metal 7. Haunter Dream says they have been making a lot of new Batman characters. Designer, Punchline, those two. And now they announced Miracle Molly. Huh. I have not heard of Miracle Molly. Interesting. Um... Jay Elise has been snagging the Walmart comic packs. I, I continue to see those because they usually keep those in like the sports card aisle. So when I go up near the like registers to see what kind of sports cards they have, which recently has been none uh, because like scalpers are really, really keen on sports cards now. Um, I see a lot of those comic packs and there's some uh, there's some really good titles in those packs. So those are those are cool. Death Metal Speed Metal number one. So I got all the one shots for Death Metal 2 because I just really, really love the Death Metal storyline. So there's Speed Metal. And then you got Rise of the New God. I'm going to show you that one. And then you got The Last 52 War of the Multiverses. You know what? I'm going to show you that one in a second because that's a thick comic book. So a lot of art in there. And I think that's multiple artists. And then The Secret Origin right here. So there is... Superboy Prime, one of my favorite characters in DC history. I really, really like Superboy Prime. I loved it when he was a Yellow Lantern. I thought that was freaking awesome. Um, or when he was with the Yellow Lantern Corps, Sinestro Corps, if you will. But um, he's back, Secret Origin in Death Metal. Awesome. So we're going to show you this one right here. Barely any cards of any kind at mine. Yeah, same here. Uh, the scalpers, uh, the card market is just crazy. Stuff's just going for stupid prices. Um, all right, so I'm going to show you some of the art in this one. Again, this is DC Death Metal, The Last 52 War of the Multiverses. Bam. So there's some of the artwork. <clears throat> Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous artwork there. And let me flip ahead. See if the artwork is consistent or if it's different artists. There's some more artwork. There's some Flash, some Wally West. A lot of spoilers on that book. Uh-oh. All right. So I'm going to try not to show you. Oh, there was a spoiler. <laughs> I just I just saw a spoiler. So I'm not going to show you that one. Here's another page here. Very cool. Superman is not looking too good right now. He, um, in the Death Metal universe, he kind of got, they, I guess they they gave him the anti-life equation. He started turning into what looks like a dark side. Just craziness in death metal series. I, that's why I love it so much. They just went off the freaking rails in death metal. Um, just some crazy wacky stuff. And sometimes you, you need that. Sometimes you need something way, way outside the box to just keep it interesting. All right. So I see a little bit of spoiler action here. So I'm going to, there's a, uh, Batman Who Laughs. So if you're a collector of the McFarlane figures, these are some cool books to pick up. All right, so it is multiple stories. So it is multiple artists, multiple writers, multiple stories. Uh, let me flip ahead and see what other kind of art is in here. Oh, wow. Okay, so the art is very, very different based on these stories. Oh, that's a cool. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Recently snagged a drowned figure. Jaylee, I'm actually still looking for that one. I cannot find that one. Um, and that's the last one I need for that shelf. Once I find that drowned figure, I'm, I'm doing a shelf of uh, the evil Batman. So I have, you know, Dawnbreaker, the freaking, uh, what's his name? The Batman Who Laughs, the two Crow Robins. 
all of the evil Batman. I've got the Grim Knight. I've got uh, the Thomas Wayne Batman. Uh, but I need the Drown. That's the last one I need. Uh, and then we'll show you one more page in here. Penguin. Look at that penguin. That's a cool picture. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That looks like a Green Lantern construct. Crazy. So there you go, guys. There's a DC comic book there. And I'm going to show you one more DC comic book. And I'm going to do this one completely at random. I'm just going to... I have all of these comics facing... They're in a stack facing down. So I'm just going to pick this one right here. I can't show you that one. <laughs> I picked that one, which is the final issue in that series. So I'll show you this one right here. Death Metal. Death Metal proper. This is Greg Capullo art. So very, very cool art. Very Todd McFarlane reminiscent. Capullo started... On, I think he started on Spawn, if I'm not mistaken. So his style uh, looked very, very Todd McFarlane-like when he first started. You should get the Beast Wars comic? Uh, or is that what you're saying? Beast Wars comic. Uh, let's find another cool page here. So there's a lot of action in this one here. That is cool. I love the setup of this double page spread. Because it's technically three rectangular panels. This is one panel, two panels, three panels. Move my fingers there so you can see it. But those are connected double page panels. That's sweet. Very, very cool. Penguin and looking cool, very rare. Blame Harley Quinn on how he kept trying to wreck Coney Island. Beast Wars, my bad. Arthur F. says. Uh, I didn't know there was a Beast Wars comic. Is that a new one? I was not aware that that was a thing. All right. Wow, this is a short comic. Is there a backup story? Oh, wow. Okay, so that's a cool... A lot of glorious splash pages in Death Metal. Especially, I guess, towards the end of the story. Very nice art. Very, very beautiful art. Arthur says, brand new, kind of like an origin. Well, then I'm definitely in. Did that come out this week? The Beast Wars comic? I would 100%. If it's issue one, if that's the one that's out right now, I will 100% pick that up. Because I want to know more about Beast Wars before Kingdom comes out. Because um, I know very little about Beast Wars because I didn't watch the original cartoon. Jay Lee says, yep, new IDW Lost Light Insider has been posting panels. Very cool. All right, so that is uh, the first part of my DC haul. Here's the second part. I picked up uh, some future state books. So we got, start with this one. This is a thick one. The next Batman. The only thing I know about this is this is Lucius Fox's son. Uh, Tim Fox. He's the new Batman. Yeah, on Sunday, I believe it came out. Okay, cool. Arthur F. Good heads up there. Uh, Dark Detective. I heard this is a really good one. I have not read it yet. Dark Detective, Future State. Um, and then I got Dark Detective Issue 2. I think Issue 3 came out today. And I believe it is where uh, Bruce Wayne meets Tim Fox. So that should be interesting. By the way, have you guys seen any glitches on this stream? Because if you have not seen any glitchiness whatsoever, I believe I have freaking fixed my issue that I was having where it was glitching out. I think because of my freaking Wi-Fi, but now no glitches. Very freaking awesome. So Arthur F, no glitches. Yeah, um, Dark Detective and Teen Titans have been selling out like crazy. Haunter Dream says. King Dingaling, awesome, no pauses. Guys, I freaking fixed it. I found the uh the anti-glitch equation. <laughs> and it's uh it's freaking wiring directly into my modem. I wish I had thought of that earlier. I kind of feel dumb for not doing that. And because my modem is literally. If you watch my hand, it's right here. So I could have wired in instead of, I don't know why I've been using Wi-Fi when it's right there. Anyway, let's not jinx it. Good idea, Jaylee. Excellent idea. I got this Wonder Woman, and I'm going to show you the art in this because I thought it was freaking gorgeous. But uh, Future State Wonder Woman number one, I'm going to show you the art on that one. We got uh, Batman White Knight Harley Quinn, and that's issue three. And then also issue four. So I'm a huge fan of the White Knight series. And this is kind of a spinoff from White Knight uh, and Curse of the White Knight, the Harley Quinn book. So, and she, I think 
has twins. Uh, is it twins or I know there's at least a baby that she had with uh, Jack Napier. Um, I think it was twins though. But uh, there you go. So there's the rest of the DC haul. And then we got the Marvel haul, but I want to show you this Wonder Woman book. Joelle Jones is the, I think she's the writer. <clears throat> and who's the artist? Blair. This art is freaking amazing looking. I mean, look at that art. I would actually, I would want to buy original artwork of these pages because this art is so freaking beautiful. <clears throat> so Joelle Jones is the writer and artist. Does she work digitally or does she uh, work traditionally? Because if she works traditionally, I need to find out where she sells her original art because I would seriously want to buy some of these pages. Here's some more of this art. I love her style. Freaking love it. The woman, Wonder Woman book is good, Haunter Dream says. I mean, this art, blowing me away. Hopefully she gets, I, I haven't seen if she's been assigned a new book um, in, uh, what's it called? Infinite Frontier? Is that the new DC uh, line? After Future State's done? She's an amazing artist. Uh, it is. Okay, Infinite Frontier. And I'll show you one more page on this one. Love the art. Absolutely love the art on this one right here. Future State Wonder Woman, issue one. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. So DC books are done. Image books are done. We're on to Marvel. And no glitches, thankfully. And we're doing good. I'm not completely washed out, hopefully. <laughs> I think this is my first live on uh, Cincy 2. Arthur F., a little late, but have you gotten into Three Jokers? I have those books. They're in my read box. It's not a read pile anymore. It's a read box. But I have those. They're just... I need to get to those. I heard it's good though. Hopefully it's good. A lot of the future state books are actually solid. Haunted Dream says. Liz Sam Official says go follow her on IG. Oh, so Joelle Jones is on IG. Does she sell her art on there? What do you think of the new Leto Joker images? I like it a lot more than the Suicide Squad look. The Suicide Squad look was just kind of, I didn't really like it. But he really, a lot of people have already mentioned this. He looks like Marilyn Manson. Um, with like the, it looks like he has black hair and just the like smeared like lip stuff. He looks kind of scary. He looks freaking scary as opposed to just comical um, that he did in uh, Suicide Squad. Anyway, Marvel books. This one right here. This is a second print. This one sold out because of the cover alone. The original cover I think was a white. And who is the artist on this one? I can't tell who the artist is on this one, but it's a freaking gorgeous looking cover. It's very simple, but it's awesome. Very original too. But um, is it Gleason? Is it Patrick Gleason? I don't remember who the artist is, but I got the second print because first store. Another second pr print book that I got, Daredevil? With the, uh, spoiler alert, sorry, it's on the cover. Uh, okay, so new comic smells as Gleason is the cover artist for ASM. Very cool. Thank you for that. Uh, glitch is back. Are you freaking serious? Am I actually glitching? Uh, Jared Leto is a lost cause, in my opinion. Ain't nobody topping Heath Ledger, not even Joaquin Phoenix. Did I miss indies? Got to get those indies. New comic smell. You did. I, I uh, went over all my image books already. Uh, I'm on to Marvel. I did image and DC already. But this one right here is second print because this was the first appearance of the new Daredevil, and that is Elektra, for those that are not aware. And this one you could probably still find in your comic book stores, but this is the first cover appearance of Daredevil Elektra, which I think she already dropped that outfit. She's back to her regular Elektra outfit. Yep, actually thought it was my signal. Okay, good. I'm crossing the fingers that I don't get the glitchiness because I, I, I'm hoping that I solved it with this 
wiring directly in. Daredevil number 26. This is a King in Black tie-in. Um, I have watched a few YouTube channels that do comic book reviews, and a lot of people are saying that Daredevil is their favorite Marvel book right now. So Chip Zdarsky is the writer. Uh, Marco Cicchetto is... Uh, I'm going to show this one. I'm going to show you the art on that one. Hopefully it doesn't do too many spoilers. Uh, Immortal Hulk 41. Right there. I'm still loving Immortal Hulk. Al Ewing. I have a, I have a sneaking, sneaking suspicion, a theory uh, that Mr... Donny Cates might be the writer for Hulk. I don't think anything's been announced, but I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion that once King and Black is all done, Cates is going to jump over to Hulk, and I think Ewing is going to jump over to Venom. Just a freaking theory pulling it out of my tuchus, but uh, if it comes uh, to be, if it comes to fruition, I'll be very very happy with that because uh, I, I really want to see Donny Cates. Uh, do Hulk. I think that would be amazing. If anyone has heard anything like that, please let us know in the chat. But that is just a guess on my part. A complete guess. Ewing, Al Ewing, Donny Cates, my two favorite Marvel writers, swapping books. My guess. Um, I'm going to show these two together because these are variant covers for uh, Immortal Hulk 42 and 43. And I love these throwback covers. I love them. I just love the look of these. The Tales to Astonish look there with Silver Surfer. And then look at that art on that cover right there. 43, the variant cover. Absolutely awesome. Would be great if Kate's took over ASM. I would 100% get behind that as well. I would, uh, I would add ASM back to my pull list. Um, I'm kind of picking it up sporadically now, um, but I haven't really been 100% into Amazing Spider-Man for a little while. But if Donny Cates had a, a run, a lengthy run on Amazing Spider-Man, that would be the top, top book at Marvel again, 100%. And I would be so excited for that. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Speaking of Donny Cates, King in Black... We've got King in Black, issue two. King of Black, issue two. Ryan, is Stegman still doing the art? Yeah, Stegman's still doing the art. Uh, I had a chance to talk to Stegman at a con. It was like freaking, I don't know, seven years ago. Seemed like a really nice guy. Um, his artwork has really gone up in price. I could have bought so much great artwork from him, original artwork at that con for very low prices, and I kick myself for not doing so. Because his, his prices have gone woo, through the roof. Because he is probably one of my favorite artists uh, in comic books right now. Uh, and there's King of Black issue three. Spoiler alert for that cover. King of Black issue three. We have... I picked up all of the issues of this miniseries. Um... <clears throat> Because of what I heard in uh, in various YouTube videos about this series, and I looked at the artwork. I'm going to show you the artwork, as a matter of fact, uh, for Maestro. It's Maestro. So this is the origin of Maestro. It shows how Maestro became Maestro. I got issues one. I got issue two. I love these covers. This one. Look at this. Issue three. Issue. Look at this cover. Issue four. And then finally, issue five. I think that's the last issue in this uh, mini series. They just started a new mini series though with Maestro, but Peter David is the writer. Uh, I think it's Herman Peralta is the artist. Dale Keown, old old uh, Hulk artist, does like a uh, kind of like flashback scenes. Uh, but yeah, Maestro. And I'm going to show you the artwork on that one right now. And then I'm going to show you Daredevil, too. So this is Maestro, issue one. Again, origin of Maestro. And I'll show you the, the uh, flashback scene. So here's a flashback scene. Dale Keown art. Punching the head off a sentinel. There's Wolvie. Try not to block the art, but i got to hold the comic, too. Uh, let's see here. 
All right. It looks like the Avengers are kind of uh, having a little discussion with Hulk there. A little confrontation it turns into with Thor. Still Dale Keown art there. And then this is such a cool page with Vision. Look at that. And then more Avengers. And then flashes forward to, I think it's Herman Peralta. And I got to say, I had never heard of Peralta before. But Peralta is now one of my favorite new artists in comic books. His artwork... I, I assume it's a male. Um, the artwork, absolutely, just freaking gorgeous. And it, there's a difference between beautiful artwork and beautiful artwork that literally tells a story with no words. Um, and Peralta is an artist that can, that can show emotion and tell a story without words. There's just so much. Just flipping through this. Just so much. Look at this. Doing the little double-handed hammer fist right there. And I will show you a couple more pages here. Guess who is that? Guess who is in here right there? They're doing a Marvel Legends figure of him. Modoc. Mechanical organism made for death or killing, something like that. I forgot what the acronym for MODOK is. If someone wants to post it in the chat, um, I forgot what the acronym is, but there's the artwork. Gorgeous artwork. I 100%, I, I haven't read it, so I don't know if the story's good, but the artwork alone, I, that's why I bought this miniseries, Maestro. And you could probably still find it at your comic shop. I found all five issues at uh, Keats Comics Firewheel in the uh, Dallas area. But there is Maestro. And then I'm going to show you. This is Daredevil. This is a King and Black tie-in. So let's check out this art. This is Marco Cicchetto. I already know I'm going to like the art because I'm a huge fan of Cicchetto. But uh, let's find some cool pages here. <clears throat> uh, okay, so there's some artwork right there. Uh, for those that are not aware, King of Black is going on. This is a King of Black tie-in. So Venom symbiotes are basically uh, invading the planet. And our heroes, our Marvel, he Marvel heroes, are having to survive and not die and fight back against the symbiotes. Look at that artwork. Chichetto's artwork has changed a little bit over the years, but I'm still a huge, huge fan. Um, I think it's gotten cleaner, honestly. I think the Chichetto artwork has gotten cleaner. There is a uh, Electro Daredevil. Spoiler alert. Justin Shannon says, that does look good. I think you're talking about Maestro, though. Holy cow, look at this. Look at this right there. All that detail on that car crashing. Yes, yeah, sweetie. I'm live right now, but what's up? Oh, show me a little bit later. I'm, I'm almost done with my comic book haul here. You could say hello. Tay Tay's here. We just spent like, oh no. Don't step on. You stepped on it. We just spent like 20 minutes How dare on a dancing you? TikTok. You stepped on Planet of the Symbiotes. I don't care. Um. Hey, what do you think of my pops there? What? <gasps> Is that Fruity Pebbles? Fruity Pebbles, indeed. And Cocoa Pebbles. <laughs> with Fred there's Flintstone. A there's a McDonald's nugget. Yep, there's two chicken nuggets back there. Cheeseburger. All right, so we got uh, Planet of the Symbiotes. Bye, Tay Tay. Planet of the Symbiotes, the one that Tay Tay just stepped on. <laughs> so, no longer Gem Mint. <laughs> Uh, Thunderbolts issue one. I've heard good and bad about Thunderbolts. Who's the writer? Rose, Matt Rosenberg and uh, Juan Ferrer Ferreira. Um, I like the art by uh, Ferreira. I might show that. I'm going to show that. We got uh, Thor issue 10. 
So Donnie Cates written Thor. This is a variant that I got, the nullified variant. We got Thor 11, Donnie Cates again. There's a dragon. Is that Fin Fang Foom? Uh, no CGC 9.8 now for Planet of the Symbiotes. Correct, Justin. Uh, one highly, one highly planning to get the trade of for sure. Are you talking about Maestro? I totally recommend it just on the art. It's beautiful. And I'm going to read it. I'm going to start reading it. And I'll let you guys know in the next comic book haul how the story is as well. Um, but if anyone has read Maestro, please let us know in the chat if you guys liked it, if you like the storyline or not. Uh, Venom 31, I got. So Donny Cates once again. There's Null. And we got Venom 32. And we got Venom 33. So that marks the end of the comic book haul. Finally got through it. Now I can add all of these to my damn short boxes, my read pile. And, uh... And then eventually get to these. I try and read at least two to three comic books a day. And that's not really putting a dent into my read pile. But uh, I'm going to show you the art on Thunderbolts. Um, just for the hell of it. Because Juan Ferreira. Fer Ferreira. <laughs> it's hard to say his name. But uh, I really love his art. It's a distinct style. I'm trying to think of who it reminds me of. But here's the art. I love, love his style. Um, if you're familiar with the artist, tell me who this reminds you of. Like, what style is that? I just, it's such a nice design there. Uh, New Comic Smell says, nice haul, man. Thank you very much, New Comic Smell. Oh, look at these pages. Absolutely gorgeous. One of the symbiote dragons. They're fighting it. Are you going to get the Immortal Hulk 43 alien variant? Um, probably not. I think I saw that one, but I opted for the like throwback variant. I really, really like the throwback variants. The ones that kind of look like older 80s covers. I'm trying to find one more um, nice page to show you here. I mean, that's Juan Ferreira right there. I love the art. I think I've said that like nine times now, but just got to stress that. Since you have you had the chance to read Death Metal Secret Origin yet? No, I that was in the hall. I haven't read that yet. I knew nothing about Superboy Prime, but I loved that issue. I'm looking forward to it. Um, uh, the comic book store said that uh, a couple of customers really liked that issue as well. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but there you go, guys. There is the Thunderbolts. I just wanted to show you some of the artwork. Ferreira. I want to highlight like artists that a lot of people might not have heard of before, but um, I just really appreciate their artwork. So, well, that was it. I've been live for what thirty eight. Um, I don't really have any other comic books to show you. I got some original artwork on the wall there. I need to add to that collection there. Uh, let's see. Catch up on some comments here, and then I think we might call it a video. Hopefully, it didn't glitch out. I'm going to rewatch the replay, and uh, hopefully, I. Solve that equation once again, fingers crossed, not to jinx it, but um, that'll make the lives on the main channel, Cincy Nerd, even better. Uh, I thought about making night three of the Cincy Awards because I'm, I mean, the, the year 2021 is 10% done, <laughs> but I still have to do nights three and four um, of the Cincy Awards. The next video I plan on doing is my favorite McFarland figures and NECA figures. So basically seven inch figures of 2020. I thought about doing that live just to get it done. Cause I'm looking at the figures literally right here. I could do it right here, right now, but wrong channel. Um, so I, I might make that alive now that I know that my lives can be glitch free. Um, and then I, the NECA figures, I'm hundred percent sure on which ones I'm picking there. So uh, that's that one. And then, the final video, my favorites of 2020 is going to be Hot Toys and like higher end stuff. So like Mayfex, Super 7, like stuff over like 50, 60 bucks. Mayfex, Super 7, 
<laughs> and Hot Toys. Oh, Mezco. That was the one I was trying to think of. So that'll be on the main channel. Please subscribe to that. If you have never been on, if you've never heard of me or been on that channel, Facebook, not Facebook. It, there is a Facebook.com slash Cincy Nerd, but it's YouTube.com slash Cincy Nerd. Uh, subscribe there if you want. Uh, but I think that's it. So let's just look at the chat and then I'm going to call it quit skis and I'm going to hit some treadmill before I eat my, I think we're having pork chops tonight. <laughs> Are you going? I read that one since you have, I read that one. That's my reading method. Get a small stack of books and hit the can. <laughs> I do a lot of reading in there myself. I'm not ashamed to admit that it's very quiet in there. No interruptions, no distractions. I get my reading done. I'm focused. It's a good place to get your reading done. Um, let's see here. I need to get a copy of the Drowned book to do my fig review, like show off moments with those figs. Jay Lee, can I just show you something really quick? I'm very, very proud of this piece that I got here. Um, they did individual comics when, um, when Batman Metal was first coming out. And each comic, they did a comic for each of the, like, uh, evil dark multiverse Batman. And, uh, this one was by, oh man, I forgot who the artist is, but it's the drowned, just like you mentioned there, but this is the original page. It's who the frick is the artist? I cannot remember right now. Anyway, I got it for a steal, but look, there's the drowned. This is the original page that the artist drew submitted for coloring, submitted for uh, publishing. So it's one of one. Pat, I can't remember his damn name. I feel so stupid right now. Worst thing to brain fart when I'm showing off a piece of original art right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with this piece. I thought, it's all, I thought it was very, very awesome. But uh, he did pencils and inks on this. And um, one of the coolest things about this, if you could see right there, splatter so i like when artists do different things to create artwork and he uh when i was asking him about this he literally used a paintbrush and put like like white paint on it and then flicked the brush and the it was like sp splattering there to kind of get because this is taking place underwater so just absolutely awesome anyway uh it's not pat lee is it god i feel stupid um, all right. Anyway, metal greater than death metal overall, in my opinion. Death metal is just craziness. Honestly, it's craziness, chaotic. Uh, I liked metal. I think I like metal more. Arthur F. Can't wait for you to read the Beast Wars comic when you get it. It'll interest you, hopefully. Great Hall Cincy. If uh, Keith's Comics has Beast Wars, I'm going to pick it up and uh, I'll talk about it on this channel. Justin Shannon, very cool. Jay Lee, sweet. I actually remember that page. Watching a comic view vid. Why I still want a trench mirror? All right, guys. Well, that's the comic book haul. Thanks for joining on Cincy 2 for those of you that were here. And uh, obviously, I'll see you guys on the main channel here soon. But I think I'm going to end the stream here. Mrs. Cincy's back home. We're going to eat our pork chops. And I guess I'm doing my treadmill work after that. So thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate it. Um, get out there and read those comics. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to wait two to three months until my next comic book haul. I'm trying to make these weekly. And honestly, if I can do these live every week, live on Wednesdays, it'll make it a lot easier for me because I won't have to edit. So this might be a thing. Uh, if I can get to the comic store, pick up my uh, comics and do it live and show you the art, might be a thing. So stay tuned. Please subscribe, hit notifications, and I'll see you guys on Cincy nerd the main channel but adios for now